What is it like working with Tiffany Haddish? She's amazing. I mean, really at this point, we've just become like best friends. You know, she's like a second mom to me. Aww. I know when we first met, you know, we didn't know what to expect from each other because I mean, I didn't know her that well. She didn't know me, but now we have inside jokes and we're always talking her and Mr. Morgan. They're just the dream parents. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. That's great. And you're booking movies. That's amazing. <laughs> Can we give it up for booking movies? Like that's legit. <laughs> Thank you. So when you got the call that you booked that gig, like, tell me about it. What was it like? Um, it had been a while since the audition. Cause usually in this business, you know, you can audition for something and not hear about it for weeks or months. It depends on how yeah. long it takes. So when they called, I was actually picking up my little brothers with my mom from school. And I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what they were going to say on the phone. So when they called me, they just said, you know, pack your bags. You're going to Canada. What? I'm like Canada, you know, do we vacation? What's going on? And then I had to think about it. And they said, you booked the movie. And I honestly, I just cried right there at that elementary school. All the kids were worried about me. It was just, <laughs> it was great. It was oh, amazing. That's so amazing, girl. I would have cried too. <laughs> And um, honestly, like you are a singer and an actress and you're actually singing in the film too. What, what is that experience like? Like who are your favorite singers and your inspirations on that end? The moment of it, I did not know that I was going to be singing in the movie. Let's really? Just get that I did not know that that was going to happen. Wow. When I, they asked me to sing in the audition. I don't know. I didn't know what it was for. I never knew that I was going to be singing in the movie, that that would be heard by people. And that I was working with Kirk Franklin. Like the whole thing was so into a studio in the middle of, the middle of nowhere in Canada, and then he was just there. So he wow. ready to work, and I was like, "Perfect, who? What's going on? Like, where does this happen at?" I wasn't even ready. I was not prepared, but I just know that that's just a blessing. It was just a blessing. Some of my favorite singers: Bruno Mars, Jacob Collier, Sam Cooke, Ariana Grande. Mine kind of vary between two different eras of music: from nice. The Temptations, Commodores. But that's just because of my, my parents. Mm -hmm. Good music. That's pretty awesome. So with Kirk Franklin being a part of the film, is the film a Christian based film? It is. I would say, well, yes. I mean, the story is based off of, you know, faith and um, mm. just God pulling through miracles. You know, it's a true story. So yeah. I would say, yeah, yeah, it is. That's so awesome. And speaking of faith, I noticed that in your Instagram bio, you have a Bible verse. Mm -hmm. How has faith helped you in your career? It keeps me grounded. Mm -hmm. It keeps me grounded. I know that this is a really hard business. It you is. Know, because I mean, there's lots of rejection. There's lots of seeing everyone else, especially with social media is very hard. You know, there's just a lot going on, lots of distractions. And I have just, it gives me something to come back to every day. It's that's something great. that's consistent in my life. And it just keeps me calm. It just keeps me sane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we need that. I mean, this industry and just LA in itself is just a melting pot of so many people trying to do so many things. So yeah. kudos to you for keeping God <laughs> first and making it. Can we have Thank five to you. that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So at Pop Fusion TV, we love using pop culture and celebrity charities. And how would you feel that you're using your platform to give back to the community? Well, um, within my church, and I know also with TBS and with the movie, uh, we like to buy lots of groceries and then we'll just deliver them to different houses and different families that need them. Wow. Sometimes, own, you know, families within the church, just whoever really needs them. And I feel like it keeps your eyes open. You know, I like to try to pay attention to other people, you know, not only myself, yeah. you know, outside of my family, outside of my own house, what's going on in other people's lives. I feel like that's important. And also just to look out for people like me to look out for little girls like me because I know what it's like to be in certain situations. So it's just doing what you can to help everybody else. Wow, that's so amazing. And how young are you, by the way? 16. 16? Can we even have to be 16 and mature and so yeah. successful already? <laughs> that's awesome. You know, to be honest, a lot of young women will definitely look up to you. I'm so proud of you and your career and oh. keeping God first in your faith. Like, that's seriously awesome. Thank I you. I hope that you can stay grounded and continue to flourish and blossom in your career. Wishing you nothing but success, girl. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you guys, stay tuned.